Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to unbox Aesthetica Designs Ellis in Caramel Kiss. I can't wait to try this. I have never had the opportunity to try Ellis before. Now, I am wearing my Beltress Santa Monica in, what color is this one? This is Milkshake Blonde R. So I thought I'd do just a little comparison of these two. So let's get busy and unbox Ellis. Okay, let's unbox Alice from Aesthetica Designs. Okay, now it's available in 14 shades, and I purchased this from Wig Studio One. Oh, okay. Now, look at this packaging. I have not had a wig package like this before. All right, so this looks like a large wig cap that has been pinned at the bottom wow this is amazing this is certainly secure <laughs> i mean look how well packaged this is i've not had this before on an aesthetica wig but i think that is amazing i mean that is packaged probably better than any wig i've ever seen so let me try to get this off like i said this is just like a wig cap okay and it is pinned to this um, netting. Let's see if I can get this off without having to take that all off. Yes. Okay. Wow. I don't know. This is kind of. Hang on, guys. This is all kind of tangled up together. Let me cut the string on this and I'll be right back. Okay, I had to cut the string and cut the tag off. That was all kind of uh, tangled up together with that packaging. So I just wanted to show you that. And again, this is Ellis and Caramel Kiss. To finish unboxing it. I like these blunt cuts. So when I saw Ellis uh, on the website, I thought, you know, this that reminds me very much of um, Santa Monica so that's why I thought I would try it all right well now I have tried I believe I have tried caramel kiss before from Aesthetica I'm not sure though I'm not sure y'all I've done a lot of wig reviews <laughs> and reviewed a lot of colors but as I've been telling you I really want to show you as many brunettes as I can so I just thought I'd order this Okay, so this has a lace front and a deep mono part. It's open wefted. It has closed ear tabs. It has this open extended nape with the hook adjusters. Looks like there's a lot of stretch in this. Now let's talk about this color. Caramel Kiss. Golden brown. And this has some really, really chunky highlights, light copper blonde highlighting. And it is, as you can see, looks like it has, they're pretty chunky running through here, which I like. That's not a problem for me. Let's try it on. See how it fits. I'm going to shake it a little, loosen those fibers up away from the cap, like we always do. And see how this fits okay wow this is really really large matter of fact I'm gonna have to take this in a little even to probably be able to show you that is really big on me I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference and that is very large this will fit a 22 inch super easily in my opinion Aesthetica usually does run a little large on me, so I'm not surprised, but I'm going to take it up a good bit in the back. Let me show you. I brought it in on both sides. Okay, let's try that again and see how it does. Yeah, that's better. I could still bring it in some more. Still big. All right. Yeah, choppy. Let me take this parting out now this has the feel of this this has a really deep side part 
choppy ends like I said I'm gonna put some water in it because that's just how I do it I want to it has a lot of flyaways that water will help with some of those flyaways let's see yep this is cute again I like wigs that have really that blunt very blunt cut i just like it i think they're fun these fibers are beautiful there's a little permatease right here just a little not a huge amount i don't feel too much at the nape a little there is some at the nape but not not much and i do feel some like i said right here again not a lot you can tell by the shape of this it's not big hair so it's fairly sleek there Now, we talked about this color, golden brown with light copper blonde highlights, and there is a lot of highlighting, and they are chunky highlights running through this. The bangs of this are six and a half, and the sides, they are saying, are six and a half. The crown is 10, the nape is three and a half, and it weighs 3.81 ounces. Lots of movement here. Again, this runs super large on me. After this filming, I'm going to take this outside and I will uh, do a little short outdoor video of the color so you can get a good idea of this color. Now, comparing this to what I had on Santa Monica from Beltress, another one of the little choppy blunt end wigs that I had on in the beginning, the sides on this one are 6 to 10 it is an overall length of 11 inches on this one its nape is two and a half to three so these are really similar styles they very much are sister styles in my opinion um also i'm just going to quickly show you the cap it has a lace front and a mono part as well this uh ellis has it feels like to me it has more permatease uh, this Beltress is very sleek. There's just no permatease to speak of at all in this wig. This one I feel like does have some right here. It's not a lot, but it definitely has some, and it's bangs. It has this more uh, a bang here, and this is more long sweeping, just a long look on the front. But very similar, very, very similar. If you like Ellis and you're looking for something a sister style to it have a look at Santa Monica okay guys thanks for stopping by my channel today and having a look at Aesthetica Designs Ellis that was fun I enjoyed unboxing that with you and doing a little comparison to Beltress Santa Monica please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time